You know, people who love hydrogen powered cars and they believe that they're the future, there's quite a few people who do, they will rarely ever tell you how much it actually costs to refill a hydrogen powered car. They won't mention the fact that Toyota gives a $15,000, 15,000 US dollar fuel card for free when you buy your hydrogen car to kind of alleviate the shock people get when they first rock up at a hydrogen refueling station and have to, well, discover the, the cost to refuel their vehicle, which is, in my opinion, absolutely mental. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. The Hyundai Nexo is now on sale in some countries, and topspeed.com says that the Nexo is a costly, as in an expensive car, but an eco-friendly option with limited infrastructure costing well, it costs 227, 227 US dollars to refill the tank. Now, technically you should hopefully get 380 miles of range from a full tank. Now the Inexo doesn't, well, they say it doesn't emit any tar pipe emissions. Um, and it has a 0.329 drag coefficient. It has 161 horsepower, not a lot of power. I mean, that's only about 120 kilowatt. Very, very minimal amount of power, but Hyundai wants to revolutionize transportation with hydrogen fuel cell technology, and they're limited by infrastructure growth in the US with poor sales. Now, Toyota has just discounted its Mirai hydrogen car in the United States by at $40,000 US dollars, plus they'll give you a $15,000 fuel card, so it's $55,000 US dollars discount off the normal price, which is incredible. There's a reason for that, though refueling them is incredibly expensive. Now this comes at a time when there's actually three different models that have become available worldwide. The Hyundai Nexo, the Toyota Mirai, and Honda's new hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Hyundai is one of very few manufacturers currently heavily investing in hydrogen fuel cell technology. The Nexo is the only hydrogen fuel cell EV crossover sold in California. Now, yes, you can buy a sedan, like I said, the Toyota Mirai, it's a sedan, but the only crossover or SUV you can get is the Nexo. Now, you can't buy the Nexo or the Mirai or Honda's new hydrogen vehicle outside of California because there are no hydrogen refueling stations outside of California. Now, of course, there are some drawbacks to having a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. That includes not much infrastructure um, and, as you can see, massive fuel costs. And not a lot of people realize just how expensive it is to refuel a hydrogen vehicle. And one of the reasons for this is not just the fact that the hydrogen is relatively expensive. It's also the fact that the hydrogen refueling stations, there's 55 of them currently in the US, although three did close, so now there's 52. They can only recharge or refill around about 48 to 50 vehicles each. So as soon as one fueling station has uh, refilled 48 to 50 cars, it needs to be refilled. Now the fuel also requires a very demanding storage system. It needs very precise um, controls in order to stop the hydrogen from leaking. It's very, very important. Otherwise you get what happened in Norway where a hydrogen refueling station actually blew up and I believe um, there were 11 people there and a number of those people actually died. All of them were injured and I believe about half of them died. The Hyundai Nexo is obviously, it's expensive. It's 60,000 US dollars. The equivalent EV from Hyundai is around about 35,000 US dollars. That's the Kona EV. This is basically the Kona EV you're looking at here. However, you can get $4,500 of rebates. So that brings the price down to 55,000 then you can get a $15,000 fuel card as well. So actually it's bringing the price down to a similar price to Hyundai's Kona EV. It ends up being about $39,500 because you're getting that $15,000 of fuel. But it's so the fuel is so expensive in comparison to charging your electric car at home. It's actually about 50 times more expensive on average versus charging at home, especially if you have solar panels. Unfortunately, the Hyundai Nexo isn't a very popular car for Hyundai. It barely surpasses 420 sales every single year. Now, so far this year, Hyundai has sold 23 Nexos in the United States. So according to True Zero, California's premier hydrogen supplier, 
one kilogram of hydrogen will set you back $36. The Nexo has a 6.3 kilogram tank, meaning it costs $227 to refill. Now, obviously, that's a lot more than an EV cost to charge or than an internal combustion engine uh, vehicle cost to refill as well. So let's, work, let's do the maths here. For your $15,000 hydrogen credit, you'll get around 65 tanks. So that'll cover you for 65 tanks. Uh, that might last you for maybe two years, possibly, depending on how much you drive. But the thing is, when you go to resell it, the resale value on hydrogen powered vehicles in the US, and in fact, not just in the US, but outside of the United States as well, is very, very low because now you're not getting any hydrogen card. You don't get any hydrogen for free after the, when, the, when you buy a secondhand one and you're just stuck with enormous bills and very few places to actually refill your hydrogen powered car. So that's the cost, about $227 US dollars to fill every time. In Australian dollars, that ends up being about 350 Australian dollars to refill. Now, like I said, that's gonna get you probably around about 500 kilometers of range on a single tank. So if you wanna get 1,000 kilometers or 600 miles, you're looking at about 500 US, in fact, a bit more than 500 US dollars. It's very, very expensive at this point in time. It's probably the biggest reason why hydrogen powered vehicles are not taking off and probably not going to anytime soon.